hi guys so i'll be doing a quick video on how to make your own clip-ins and, and also how to install them uh clip-ins are basically alternative to hair wigs hair wigs are all over and and all that so but anyways why not try something new you're gonna need your bulk uh kinky hair you'll need a pair of scissors you're also gonna need your clip-ins you can get from your local hair store you'll also need your um your your wool it's much easier to tie it around uh your chair several times my chair isn't quite rigid due to the material it's made out of so um if you've got a rigid chair or any other surface you can use then that's perfect first of all take a part of your hair your kinky hair um bring it into a knot okay um and tie it around your wool uh oopsie mine was not quite rigid enough but i'm gonna give it a try again bring it into a knot and uh tie it around uh your your wool make it quite tight so it does not undo itself so basically this step should be repeated to the rest of your kinky hair you know and by the end of the day you should be having kinky hair that looks sort of like um like a weave you know and this will make it much easier for you to sew your clippings on them So I managed to, to do this uh, for the first part of, um, of, my, of my kinky hair and I'm gonna cut both sides and I'll tie a knot as well so that uh, the kinky hair does not slip through the wall. I literally used brown a dark brown wool i was not i was not really aware of it because like um i went to my local to my local beauty store and the brown wool basically looked like black you know so i kind of got confused i don't know am i colorblind or what i don't know but anyways once i got home and i opened my packet there i see dark brown wool but anyways it's okay because it's not really gonna show once i install my weave actually my clippings sorry <laughs> so like one side of my of my kinky bulk has like a silky texture so uh, once I tied um, my kinky hair into a knot um, one side of my of my now weave let me call it a weave is kind of like silky so um, I'm gonna use it as the inside So I'm gonna take my clip in and sew it onto my now cold weave. Um, basically you should use the part where the teeth of the clip in is sticking out should be basically the part that should be facing outwards. So the inside part of the clip in should be sewed onto your weave and the outside of the clip in where the teeth are literally showing should be actually the one that's that's exposed that on top this will actually make it quite easier for um for installation you know um so yeah i started off using a big needle which didn't quite work for me because uh because my because the hole of the clipping is quite small and my needle is quite huge i had to go for a smaller one 
Um, alternatively, you can use the curved needle, it makes life quite easier, which I do not have at hand. But anyways, whatever I had worked best for me. So I'm done making the first part of my clip ends. I'll go on making other parts. And yeah, that's how it looks. I managed to make five of them out of the whole kinky hair that I had. I just hope and pray that it fits throughout my entire big head. And I just like when hair looks all so full, you know, and gorgeous and stuff. I think it's beautiful that way. Instead of you having um, kind of like holes uh you know in between your afro hair whereby someone can literally see uh one can literally see your scalp you know what i mean i mean yeah i really hate that so this is what i've done made conros choose whatever you want to you know whatever hairstyle you want to do i left a bunch a piece of hair in front that's easier for styling i'll go on applying my first not applying i'll go on putting my first clip in uh just remember not put it right at the bottom of your head because by the end of the day remember what you want is to achieve um afro hair that's kind of like the same length throughout so you should basically start off uh placing your first clip in kind of like way before your middle uh the middle part of your head you know not right at the bottom so yeah this is how it looks I managed to put it throughout my entire head and yeah came out just as i wanted to i'll then undo the little piece of hair that i had left part it into two you know uh one side from one side to the other side yeah and this is how it looks i think it looks gorgeous looks much more like my hair just as i had envisioned it I just have to kind of like trim the bottom part right at the back there but otherwise i love it i love the way it came out thanks for watching guys hope you've learned something from this video and i'll see you in my next issue video enjoy